SGC here, we're back with a movie review. The Tiger, an old hunter's tale. Directed by Park Hoon Jung, who brought us New World, and it stars Choi Min Sik and everyone else. Check down below. So what's this film about? Well, it takes place when Korea is occupied by Japan, and basically, like the title, it is literally a tale of a old hunter whose experience and his beginning and just everything about him. So long story short, it talks about what happens to him when he's an aspiring sort of like husband, newborn child, and then the child born grows up, things happen, and then he grows old, but yet people are still gung-ho about hunting, and then the Japanese people are like crazy about this tiger on this mountain, and things goes nuts. And that's basically the entire film. So what did I think? Well, first off, first off, you know how everyone jokes about how in The Revenant, the bear should be given the Oscar? Well, sorry. The tiger here deserves an award of some sort. The CGI here is amazing. Really, really great. Though, I would nitpick and say that whenever it's really bright and when the tiger's by itself, you clearly know it's CGI because of the depth of feel and the color contrast and how colors reflected in a sense by itself but when it's with like live actors or when it's dark it's like holy smokes they went nuts on the cgi a lot of details on close-ups to a face like all the whiskers the fur and everything it's just nuts and seriously if you don't give a crap about that is directed by the new world director which was an amazing like amazing cop robber film and you don't care about Choi Min Sik either he is just a legend in Korean entertainment if you don't care about that but you want to watch a amazing CGI tiger this is it I think this is it in the sense where just watching the action sequences with this tiger is amazing there's 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 just craziness happening on screen it's like if you have seen Korean films you know that their violence is brutal but imagine hand-to-hand -hand combat intensity, but with a lion behind those freaking punches. Men get destroyed, yo. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, like seriously. Like, like, the movie pacing definitely is different from, I would say, current-day contemporary Korean films. I mean, setting-wise, anyway, and story. So, it gets a tad slow at sense at times, but when the freaking tiger shows up, it is down, and it means business like seriously the things i have that i don't like about this film s disappears when i think about how amazing that tiger is so yeah enough tiger praise but let's go back to the actual film i think it's an interesting plot and pacing in the sense where choman sick shows up he's a crazy hunter hunts 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 and it's like really like intense because it's back in the day where they still have to like push stuff into their rifles i mean gunpowder and they have to like crank it and all that it's not automatic it's like sort of probably world war one pre-world war one i don't know because I, I i totally forgot because i am a history major and i totally forgot when japan occupied korea but that's when it happened and it's just that intensity of like those one shots where it counts the most whoa whoa reload 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 it, it's just crazy and the way that it's filmed it is solemn and it's just like wow those scenes with Choi Min Sik by himself just in that forest or on that mountain range side, whatever, it's just shot beautifully. And like I said, things are different in the sense where it's about his prime and then his son grows up and things change and you don't know why to change. But then later on, it sort of, you figure it out. And then his son grows up and then the Japanese are coming in. They're like, we need that tiger. And then it changes perspective in a sense where Choi Min Sik isn't the main character anymore. He's off to the background. He's doing his old man. I'm no longer a hunter sort of thing. And then the perspective changes with this band of hunters that followed him as a leader. But now they like go on their own thing working for the Japanese and they're hunting this tiger. And it's like that's the main point is that it, Choi Min Sik, the hunter, sort of steps back and the tiger hunt is thrown forward. And that's your main storyline. And things curl crazy, 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 crazy. I mean, people die in pretty savage ways. It, it, it totally reminds me of uh, Backcountry. It's, I haven't reviewed that yet. But it's like a local 
Canadian film where like this bear comes out of nowhere and kills people. And it's just like, you, you sort of realize how intense and how much ferocity, how much power. I mean, Revenant did that very well as well. It's like, you, you see that and it's just like, holy smokes, a bear can do that damage. And now it's like, this tiger can do this much damage to a human body. And it's crazy. So I'm going back to the tiger again. So let's get back. So yeah, Charm and Sick plays a really great role in the sense where you see he's super like proud and like really great at his job. And then he lays back and you're like wow what happened then you figure out later and then his relationship with his son is interesting as well as his son is like growing up like looking up to his father oh he's such a great hunter and all that and then there's a great chemistry the kid that plays him is really great and then there's that one scene where he's like wow Choi Min Sik did not expect that from you old boy guy you you are crazy range you did this and all the supporting cast is somewhat hit and miss you have this other hunter guy by the name of Joan Mansick and he's just this, like, you know, something happened to me, the tiger did it, I'm gonna do this for the Japanese, blah, 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 he's like very gun roll, ha, ha, ha. And it's sort of overplayed at times where, because he's so macho, everything else is sort of laid back, it's like the, the pacing's really slow, but he's like, let's do this, sort of thing. But I guess the contrast really well is like, you know, Min Sick is like, you know, chill and Man Sick is just like, dude, let's kill this tiger. But beyond that, I think the supporting cast could have been more developed. I mean, there was this other dude, I don't I don't remember his name, but he's sort of like the median guy. He's like, you know, I, I look up to the old hunter, but I work for Man Sick. So, you know, got to compromise here and there. But, you know, at the end, he's paying me. So I got to follow him sort of thing. Poi here is great. Tiger is great. The directing is really great in the sense of Koreans entertainment. Like this is something you would definitely see in Hollywood. Like the Revenant has that vibe. I mean, they have the similar vibe of this like hunt and then there's like the solemnness and all that. And it's just this world of the, this like wilderness. It's just crazy and out there. I'm not saying that they're equal in terms of like anything, but I'm just saying they're similar in terms of vibe. And I, I definitely give them props for breaking like sort of this mode of you know asian entertainment now it's like you know you gotta take us seriously really and i have been taking korean stuff seriously because they know their stuff but yeah anyway gotta check this out the tiger is amazing definitely great to watch tiger cgi tiger cgi people like i swear sometimes i know it's fake but i'm like it doesn't look fake like what is wrong with me you're gonna find it slow at times it's gonna be kind of like oh, i don't like this characters don't like the characterization the cinematography is not that amazing but the cgi here cgi even if you like oh that tiger over there looks clearly fake wait for those action sequences the action sequences okay i'm done raving about this movie the tiger an old hunter's tale was unexpectedly crazy i went in only because it was Choi man Choi min sick and i didn't know anyone else and when i came home i look up the credit listing and i'm like oh it's park hong jung he did new world like that movie as well that movie definitely check it out also because that was good stuff anyway i'm done here if you have seen the tiger Leave your comment down below or what have you, and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. And that is it for this movie review for The Tiger, An Old Hunter's Tale. Out!